the next is bailment bailment is also a type of contract however we will not go into the detail of bailment as you have it for your next level but it's important for us to understand what bailment is so i'll explain it in short bailment is a contract wherein only the possession of the goods is transferred possession is transferred the ownership is not transferred so a contract of bailment is where only the possession of the goods is transferred not the ownership i'll give you an example there was one mr verma he had a neighbor mr sharma now this neighbor mr sharma wanted to go to a marriage with his family however he did not have any vehicle to go he was all decked up all you know his family was uh beautifully dressed up so they didn't want to go by public transport however sharmas didn't have any vehicle so he came to mr verma and borrowed his car mr verma had a car he told mr verma please lend me your vehicle for one day i need to attend a wedding i'll go there in your car come back and i'll give you your vehicle back mr verma agreed he said it's a matter of one day and they were good neighbors good friends of each other so mr verma handed over the keys of the car to him now mr sharma has the car he took the car to the place of wedding and then he came back but in this contract you can see that mr verma gave the possession of car he did not gave the he did not give the title or the ownership of the car here mr verma remains the owner and that is confirmed by the fact that the car was returned the possession of car was returned mr verma gave the possession of the car to mr sharma and then after a day he returned the possession of car so only the car was given not the ownership such a contract where ownership is not transferred only possession or the custody of the goods or the asset is transferred and later on the possession is regained such a contract is called a contract of bailment so this contract becomes a contract of bailment one more example i'll give you let's say you and me are neighbors and i need to go to haridwar for a vacation so for a vacation i am going to haridwar however i have some valuables at my home and you are my trusted neighbor so what i do is i collect all the valuables put it in a box and tell you to safely keep it somewhere in your house till i return and you said you'll take care of it do you become the owner of those valuables now or i remain the owner of valuables 
I remain the owner of valuables. I have only given the possession of those goods to you. So this contract becomes a contract of bailment, wherein only the possession is transferred. Ownership remains with the original owner. One more example I'll give you. You must have uh, gone to the tailor many times. What you do is you purchase a piece of cloth. You become the owner. And you go to the tailor and tell him to stitch a pant from it or a kurti or a shirt or whatever from it. Does the tailor become the owner of that piece of cloth or you continue to remain the owner for it? The tailor does not become the owner. You continue to remain the owner. That means you only transfer the possession or the custody of the good. The ownership remained with you. The ownership did not get transferred. And later on the goods were regained by you. You got the possession of the goods back. So this also is an example of bailment. So all the examples all the contracts wherein only the goods are transferred, the possession of the goods physically is transferred and not the ownership becomes bailment. Now in all these transactions wherein Mr. Verma gave his car to Mr. Sharma, do you think there is any consideration for Mr. Verma? Is there any consideration? There is no consideration. Mr. Verma is not getting anything in return because consideration is something in return. So Mr. Verma should ideally get something in return. He is not getting anything in return for the day that he is giving his car to Mr. Sharma. If Mr. Sharma had hired the car from outside, he would have paid him 2000 for the day. But now Mr. Sharma is not paying anything to Mr. Verma because he is his friend. Yet this contract is a valid contract. Even though it does not have any consideration, it's a valid contract. We cannot say that this contract is void because it does not have consideration. This becomes a valid contract. However, it does not mean that in all the contracts of bailment, there is no consideration. Here, if Mr. Sharma pays Mr. Verma rupees 1000 as higher charges for the car he is taking, then this contract has consideration. Mr. Sharma gets to use the car of Mr. Verma for one day and Mr. Verma gets rupees 1000 as higher charges. Now this contract has consideration. So this contract will also be called as a contract of bailment. So contract of bailment may be a contract wherein there is consideration or it may be a contract without consideration. In either case it remains a contract of bailment. However even when there is no consideration it remains to be a valid contract. It does not become void. Same is the case when you go to a tailor's shop. He stitches the cloth and makes a pant or shirt or kurta for you and you give him some charges, you give him some fees. In that, again you have consideration. Yet, yet, yet that contract is of bailment. So a bailment contract can be with consideration, it can also be without consideration. Even when the contract is without consideration, it remains valid. 